So I did some digging today. And I have been playing a lot of the game off screen uh, since last episode. Um, I've just been going around trying to find some other uh, random chests and silver keys and things. Ah, uh, damn tour guide. Let me just find a more secluded spot here. Um, so essentially what I've been doing is that I've been XP farming. Uh, let me show you exactly how much I've acquired here. Uh, no, wait. Hero status. Here we go. Experience. So I've completely maxed out the rest of my strength stats. And I've gotten a crap ton of general XP and magic XP. So I learned that there is a spell called Inflamed, which is what I used to use back on the uh, original Xbox for farming undead. But I forgot about this method until just recently when I saw this on YouTube. Um, you can level up this spell to tier 4, which increases its range and damage by quite a bit. Let me just use it here. It's an area of effect spell that immediately destroys all lesser undead within it at this level. At least it does enough damage to do that. And if you spam this enough while also drinking mana potions like water, um, you can incredibly build up your combat multiplier. I did not know that the XP you earned from combat increased in relation to the number of your combat multiplier. So let me just go back through my stats here. I think personality... Yes, so I've killed over a thousand undead now. I'm actually surprised that's even. It should have been more than that, I think. Um, but regardless. Uh, here it is, yep. Spell and flame. Total times used, 939. Or no, total uses of magic is that number. But most of those I can guarantee was from in flame. Um, so basically there's this particular spot that I'll show you here. Um, it was close to the prison. Oh, what am I doing? I can just use the guild seal. Because I'll show you guys how this works. So you go here to the Litchfield Graveyard to start with, after you load up on a bunch of potions from various vendors. And then you just follow the path back to the prison. Might take me a minute here. But yeah, there's this particular spot out here where a limitless number of undead will spawn, or at least a large number of them. I've seen some comments that are like, it's only for however so long or whatever, but it's fine. Um, I basically just stayed out there for quite a while just to mindlessly drone up XP. I wasn't even really keeping track of it, but I got my combat multiplier up into like the 200s. Actually, is there a spot where I could show that off real quick? Oh, that's experience. I think it's under the combat tab. Yes, there it is. Highest combat multiplier, 211. So yeah, there's that. And that is how you get massive numbers of XP. I'll, of course, demonstrate what I've been doing here. I have seen some people try and use like third-party tools and things like that for cheating, but you don't really need to. This game's already broken enough as it is. I mean, heck, Guile practically gives you unlimited money. I wonder if I'm going to see a flash of the crack in here. Oh, just barely. Uh, I've been doing this particular run back and forth from... Uh, from the Heroes Guild a few times, so that way I could at first use my lightning on the uh, undead out here, because it chains between multiple enemies already. So I can build up a combat multiplier just from lightning, until I had enough um, magic experience to get flame and then max that out. Oh yeah, and there are undead here too. If I heal, you can actually see their... Uh... Oh no, wait, it's just the rats. Okay. I thought those were invisible undead waiting. Yeah, like these. But it's just the one guy. Or two, now. But these guys don't infinitely spawn, I don't think. But the um, tutorial that I saw online basically is just a rehash of... Or, eh, I can't talk. This will just be a rehash of what I saw online. 
And then after I'm done showing you guys how this is done, I'll get on with the quest. So I'd come in about here, and a couple of these guys would spawn. And then I can just endlessly do this. They also drop a number of items and stuff too. And so long as they don't hit you, you don't reset your combat multiplier. And they don't even have to fully come up out of the ground for you to do this either. And they drop like gold and potions and all kinds of cool things. So you can just run around and pick up these and... Yeah, see? So I already got another mana potion back from that. I don't think it's self-sufficient, but it does at least um, prevent you from losing the exact number of potions used, which is nice. So you can at least recoup your losses a little bit. So for like a regular playthrough of Fable, I would recommend just sort of doing what I did at first and just starting out with leveling up your guile, get a bunch of money, buy a bunch of potions, and then try and get... Um, this spell early on and then just use this before anything else. And then after you max out your stats, you can continue on with the game. Alright, well I think I've made my point. There we go. So now that my strength stats are maxed out, we should be able to pull the sword from the stone. Oh yeah, and then I also need to go and spend the rest of that XP. I had to stop myself because I was so excited for rediscovering that again. Because I knew that there was at least some method to do that, but I'd just completely forgotten about it. Oh yeah, and I forgot, alignment is also separated by um, whatever your active alignment is and like a passive alignment. So like there's um, a state of an alignment you have when you're um, not equipped with any aligning. How do I stay that? When you don't have armor or clothing equipped that affects your alignment, um, it shows your true alignment, quote unquote. Mine has currently been reduced by a great deal because of that guy I sacrificed to get Scorb's bow. So I might also need to go and donate some to the Temple of Avo in order to try and correct that. But it's probably not going to be that big of an issue. I mean, my existing alignment isn't really negative right now, so I should be fine. Pardon me, gentlemen, I am here to claim my prize. Okay, we might have spoken a few times, dude, but we are not friends. I don't remember being a lord. Good luck. Give it all you've got. Oh, I will. Yes! Finally! Wow, you're as strong as a giant! Wait until the chief hears about this! Now we can actually have a good look at this sword. It is called the Harbinger. It also has some interesting lore. This longsword was forged by the twins Elda and Asa or Essa. After its creation, they used it to cut off each other's hands, ensuring the world would never see another weapon like it. Uh, now they said that this weapon also belonged to Hugh the Giant. So, it currently has sharpness and... Um, Piercing, I think, is what it was. So basically the same stuff as my katana. But, Harbinger is 198 damage. 
that's 161. So this is a considerable upgrade. And I prefer using this weapon over the Soul's Great Sword because it looks cooler. You actually have to do quite a bit to actually achieve this weapon. And pre-DLC, it is like a really badass sword besides like the Sword of Avos here or like the, um, what's the other one called? The Sword of Aeons. I also discovered that there is a glitch that you can do to get the Sword of Aeons early. Apparently it's a uh, main item thing is just held like under the guild, like in the Temple of, or not the Temple. Is it called the Temple of Fate? Whatever that side room was that has all the paintings or whatever of our story in it. That one. But yeah, now we have the sword. And now we can continue on with the main quest. I know that I am missing like some side quests, like the fighting gang and stuff, but I could always show that off later. It's not really integral to the story, I don't think. So, um, for those of you that don't know, in case I don't cover it, uh, in a bunch of these different areas, there is the Fist Fighters gang. Basically, they only gather at night in certain like fighting rings or like these little dirt circles, and they just fist fight with each other. And it costs a little bit of gold to participate. But if you win, you go up through their ranks from each individual area. I think it starts at either Oak Vale or Bowerstone South. But you eventually progress all the way here to Not Whole Glade, where you actually have to eventually fight the chief of the village. And then you earn their respect or whatever. But eh, I might cover that after I'm done with the main campaign and I get into the DLC. We'll see what happens. But for now, let's move on with the main quest. So now I'm using two legendary weapons. I'm not using master weapons at this point. I've got the Harbinger. I've got Scorm's Bow. I've got everything I should need. Oh yeah, I'll just kill this Balverine here real quick just to show how powerful this we uh, how powerful this weapon is. Yeah, just a handful of hits is all it takes. I wonder if we'll see like a little nymph or something running around that I could one shot. Oh, there's a couple of them. It one shots them. Come on. No! There. That's the way you do it, Master. Unlock. There we go. So yeah, now I've got the best armor I can get, and I've got the best weapons I can get, or at least that I would prefer. There are also a number of other unique weapons that I could have gotten a hold of, um, which I might do here after I'm done with the main campaign, but we'll see about that here later. Oh yeah, I already got that already. Yeah, so if you guys see any chests opened or any places that I've already fished in that you know have you know I haven't done on screen before, it's because I played here before. So Yep. You need to get to the Callus Gate in the middle of Darkwood. The gate will only open when its hunger for undead souls is sated. Well, what do you know? I just became an expert in slaying them. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not geared up yet. Um, let me uh, head back to the guild first. I forgot I need to max out the rest of my stats. Sorry for the delay, folks. but this will be well worth it. I'm not going to go and get all the magic spells and stuff, but I probably should at the very least max out my will. Wow, it barely put a dent in it. Uh, what else could I potentially use? 
Oh yeah, I can max out heal life. That's helpful. Uh, we shouldn't really need any of these other ones. I'm not planning on glitching through the game. Surround so spells. Oh yeah, these are the DLC spells. Divine Fury and Infernal Wrath. So what is this one? Tremendous powerful spell. Eh, I don't need either one of these. Although I might show them off later. Uh, oh yeah, and I already maxed out Lightning and Inflame. Mm, I shouldn't need any more. We're good on magic. Now we just need to finish leveling up our skill stats. Perfect. You're now stealthy enough to use the lockpick expression. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show off, um, from farming a bunch of those enemies, I also became maxed out and renowned, so I'm now a legendary hero. Alright. Back to the main quest. Oh good, I can recall right to it. Perfect. Oh yeah, and I have also been hearing uh, NPCs saying that um, no one goes to or ever comes from Hook Coast. Reason being, you know, because the Colas Gate to there is down. Oh yeah, and it also lights up and stuff when you're uh, slaying enemies. What is the key thing? Is that another? That looks like a lock. Did I earn that from somewhere? What? What is this? Oh, it's the expression. Okay. I really don't need lockpicking expression on that. Yep, so this is Hook Coast. Uh, it's a very small little region. It originally hinted at the DLC. Have a nice visit. Hello, my good man. And we can buy this home on the edge of town. 29,000? Eh, that's a little much, but sure, why not? So yeah, it's just this quaint little cabin here. I forget if it had a chest in it. Nope. Oh well. I'll just spend some gold real quick and make this place, like, maximum value real quick. There we go. Much cleaner, much nicer. I can sleep here if I need to. Um... Nope, can't go in there. Yeah, so there are a few shops here. 
Uh, I think they are for materials, armor, and clothing. Or no, clothing and weapons. We'll see. You guys open, you are open. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to need more of these. Oh good, I can buy some emeralds from them. And sapphires. And jets. What do you guys want? Primarily produce. Roses. Oh yeah, because I guess they are um, isolated out here pretty well. I'll just dupe back some of my gold here. Actually, no, wait, I don't think they had. There we go. Yeah, and so I got a bunch of these gems and stuff from, um, what's it called? Farming the Trolls. Wow. Where have you been? Oh yeah, and all the NPCs will also ask where you've been after you visit prison. I just want to see what they have here for weapons. I already have like the best one I want already. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. Oh, you guys sell clothing too. Guard stuff. We'll use your things. Eh. There is money to be made trading between shops, they say. I am familiar with that. Oh, and then that's just a bar, okay. That makes sense. All right, let's see what's going on up here. They said Jack is out here. Have a nice visit. Some old ruins here. And a weird red mist up ahead. Uh, guards? Actually, let me just see what's over here. Just some other people's houses, I think. I'll not spare you. <laughs> Damn assassins. Let's see what happens if I ring the bell. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oh well, worth a shot. Magical barrier wasn't there before. It explains what I just found in the guild. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. We came all the way out here just to go all the way back. Uh, okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, sorry in advance, folks. This episode might be long. Are you in your way? Something isn't right here. What? No! No! Oh, no! Ah! No! Don't put it away! Forget the book! Not again. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Plain as day. Arbin's the Maturgia? That was the quest? I have a quest card from your mother. Quickly, come to the map room and speak to me. She just got abducted. Oh, uh, she either knew it was going to happen or left it as a contingency. I want to read that book. Or no, wait, it's under... Logbook... Here it is. Oh, it just says the exact same thing that that green text did. Alright, well I'm not going to wait another episode in order to go and get this done. This is terrible. Jack has captured your mother again. I know, right? I spoke to her briefly today. She told me about the sword and the existence of a key to unlock it. Mm hmm Jack can never be allowed to succeed. You must stop him getting the key from Hook Coast. All right. There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. Oh, this is that quest. Um, I might have to wait after all. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know I just said that I wasn't going to wait for taking care of this, but I actually need to because there is some other stuff out here that I did want to um, round up first. Very well. Finish what work you have, then return to me when you're ready for your greatest challenge. But hurry. Yep. Will do, Guildmaster. So, these side quests, I'm not so interested in. Um, but I do remember that there is something I need to go and take care of in Oakvale. Uh, I think it was the chicken kicking one, unless I already got the key from that. Oh, I am so excited to be seeing you. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a dude. Okay, well, regardless, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to try and take care of the last of the side quests, and then hopefully we'll finish this segment of the story. I'll see you then.